Now we begin the news at this hour in West Africa where organized labor comprising the Nigeria Labor Congress and Trade Union Congress of Nigeria has declared a plan for a nationwide strike over the beating and abduction of their president, Joe Adao. The strike, scheduled to be held on Wednesday, November 8, 2023, was made known in a press briefing on Friday. According to TUC and NLC leaders, the Nigerian government has given a six-point demand including the immediate removal of the Commissioner of Police, Imo State, and Area Commander, among other officials, for their alleged complicity in the brutalization and humiliation of Ajiru and other workers. The Nigerian Labor Congress and Trade Union Congress of Nigeria resolved as follows. One, the Commissioner of Police, Imo State Command, C.P. Ahmed Bade, should not only be investigated and redeployed out of Imo State for his serious complicit uh, and unprofessional behavior and conduct immediately. Two, the area command of Nigerian police force and all other officers and men in Oweri through whom the police commissioner supervised the brutalization and humiliation of Comrade Ageru and other workers be relieved of his office and stripped of its commission. Three, Mr. Mwaneri Chinesa, advisor on special duty who supervised the terror on workers and pressure brutality meted to the corporate president, Comrade Joe Ageru, be arrested immediately and prosecuted for his crime against workers and the president. Four, we demand an immediate, independent, and unbiased, thorough professional medical examination of Comrade Ajero in light of his physical and psychological injuries inflicted upon him. Five, other workers and journalists subjected to his inhuman treatment by the police and the hope whose animals group be treated by the states and all the properties lost be restored immediately. Now, New Central's correspondent, Marvelous Obomanu, joins me from Abuja for more updates on this. Uh, thank you, Marvelous, for joining us. Now, very quickly, Marvelous, the organized labor unions in Nigeria uh, had a press conference today to give their official position on the attack made on Joe Jairo. What exactly was their position? All right, blessings. If you can understand that the NLC and TUC had a press conference earlier today where they raised about six to seven uh, key demands on what the Imo State government should do. And then at the end of the day, from today till Wednesday the 8th, if the Imo State government fails to honor some of their demands, they will embark on a nationwide strike. And they say after the strike action, both the TUC and NLC, their neck, will reconvene to determine the next course of action if the Imo State government, government fails you know, to honor their agreement. And for the sake of clarity, permit me to read out some of their demands. Um, uh, they've also um, called on, on the government to clear the backlog of arrears of about eight years they are owing the state government. And of course, that the NLC and the TUC, their workers in Imo State, that the government has been harassing and intimidating their workers, and therefore that the government should stop. Now, when you look at their demands, there is a name that propped out the one reaching us, who is the essay to the governor on special duties. If you recall, so earlier this year, uh, the federal lawmaker representing Idiato North and Idiato South federal constituency, Ikenga Ugochinye, had also alleged that this same one reaching us, who is the essay to the governor of special duties, had threatened him that if he comes to Imo State, that he will not have it likely with him. And at the end of the day, when Ikenga visited Imo State, we were aware of the attack that happened to uh, Imo Ugochinye Ikenga when he came to Imo State. So that particular name stands out. So, so many people are calling on um, the inspector 
Director General of Police to, you know, arrest this same uh, SA of, of the governor and, of course, you know, investigate him and then if he's found culpable of these allegations, he should be dealt with. And then there are also people who are saying that the NLC is not a political party and therefore they should stop meddling into a, what they call a, an, a pure political a, a matter. And at the end of the day, they, the state is having uh, is going to the polls in the next seven days or more. That the way the NLC is behaving, it seems like there are, there are some interests or the opposition is using them to frustrate the government. Uh, Marvelous, I'm glad you mentioned the so NLC the because uh, speaking of the NLC, the Imo State Police said that. I'm glad that you mentioned the NLC. Speaking of that, the Imo State Police said that the NLC disobeyed court orders. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Well, you are aware, just at that press briefing, the um, deputy president of NLC said that there was a subsisting court order that at the last week when they went to court, that their lawyer was at the court when the judge said that the matter will be on hold and then they will be giving judgment on that particular prayer by today. So at the end of the today, they should know what that you know, order should be. But at the end of the day, that why would Imo State uh, Police say that there is a court order when they adjourn the matter to be heard today? So at the end of the day, they did not defy any court order because the court is supposed to sit today to give a final uh, 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 note on that particular order. All right. Uh, and how will this attack affect Nigeria's uh, image and seeing that the state will be going to the polls in the coming days? Well, blessings, you are aware that Nigeria is the chair uh, in the governing board of the uh, International Labour Organization. And of course, being that Nigeria is the chair in that board, and we are seeing this kind of attacks on the NLC president in Owere, the most state capital, it, it, some people are saying it will not spell well for the country's image. It's just like when your father is a cleric and there are some certain moral behaviors expected of you. And when people start seeing you behaving in a certain way, they'll say, ah, I thought this girl or this boy, the father is a pastor or so. So for the fact that Nigeria is the chair of that board, and of course we are seeing attack on the NLC, it, it, it won't spell well for, for the country's image. And then you're also aware that the, the state will be going to the polls in seven days. And there's, the state already as it is today is a a bit heated up and this may affect the voter turnout because already some people are already predicting that with the level of insecurity going on in Imo State they will not see a massive turnout of voters including how the electoral umpire conducted the last election so with this attack it may deter some people from coming out to you know you know cast their ballot so we may likely see a little bit of voter apathy on that day according to some of the people we interviewed earlier today all right, our correspondent, uh, Marvelous Obunmanu, giving us an update on the situation. <laughs>